This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow my back here with another episode of Call of Cthulhu. In the last episode, we talked with our allies on what to do next, and it seems like mostly both my allies don't really seem to completely trust me, but at least they're trying to give me the the benefit of the doubt. But we need to gather some information of us on our own, and we've talked to Mr. Sanders' uh, wife, uh, and she seemed... Mm, Sad about his death, but not to an extreme. And Cat is somewhere around here causing trouble. So let's do some snooping around while we're here and see if we can gather some more info about maybe her relationship with Cat. Seems saucy indeed. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. They apparently ruined it after the fact, because apparently maybe Sarah Hawkins may have cursed the Sanders. A photograph of Sarah Hawkins next to the Sanders. They must be close, or were close. Oh, we have a reconstruction moment we can do because of that. Hmm. Yeah, I guess might as well do it while we're here, so... I wonder if the lady's just like, what is he doing? He's just like, sniffing around, staring out into space or something like that. Staring into outer frickin' space! Anyway, um, okay. Let's mess around. A house of artists. Hmm. House of artist? House of wax? House of artist wax? Maybe. Ooh, a cup. Belongs in the uh, Alice in Wonderland designation. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Maybe even more? Nah, probably just friends. But probably with the whole art thing and everything. Hmm. But yeah, as soon as she gave him that art, he changed. There's gonna be why is there like a cabinet to hide in around here? That's kinda interesting. At least the design of the cabinet looks like the cabinet you could hide in, in the in the hospital or whatever, or in the insane asylum. Sanders accession register. He wrote beside the shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? I mean she eventually just gave it to him, so obviously she was quite a feared for the situation. Obviously, that's not going to say anything new, right? A house of artists. Do all house of artists have, like, uh, pianos in them? Hmm. I mean, I do have a piano somewhere. It's an electric one, but still. Not that I really play it anymore. Oh, there it is. It was like, what? He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Hmm. I don't think anyone's ever aware of their imminent doom. I like the fact that we can't actually see it yet because um, because we haven't actually seen it, or at least we shouldn't have by this time. Those are the wife's like, ugh, what a moron. She despises Sarah Hawkins, but it's the painting she truly hates. Why? Probably because of the way it looks. I don't know. Some people don't like modern art, dude. She first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? You're not a psychologist, dude. I don't know. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Oh, occult. I don't know if the picture's ever so blurry, but maybe we can occult it. The Shambler. I need to see it. Hmm. Sounds like he basically ripped out his eyes as soon as he saw it. He was like, oh god, it's an old... Hey, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say something not very nice. But anyway. Ooh, medicine. Bravery of Medicine, tome number two. The second volume in the series covers everything from gas gangrene to trench nephritis. In addition to precise and detailed study, the book presents some avant-garde theories. The incredible complexity of this book reserves it from medical experts. Hmm. And we get another way to increase our medical. How far are we at now? 38? Wow. I just, at some point, the, the stats just kind of start going, dude. <laughs> Let's just leave. We're done with this. Bye. No. Can't leave yet. Gotta look at the shambler, because we know what's going to happen. We're going to go crazy. Don't mind if I do. Is it in this room? Or? I know cats around here somewhere. Probably have to... Talk to her for a bit, just see what she's doing. Ooh, creepy. And she's just sitting there looking at me walk around like a chicken with its head cut off. Nuts. Maybe that's where Cat is in there. It's weird calling her Cat, even though she 
acts more like a leopard than anything. If she was older, I'd say cougar, but no, nah, she's not that old. Or at least she didn't look that old anyway. Could be wrong, though. Never been very good at gauging ages. Especially in modern times, where a lot of people can now have all these tricks and tips to, like, the... I thought that was moving for a second. Hmm. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. An audio recording that Francis Sanders left for his wife, Irene. Hmm. Okay. Well, we've got a phonograph right there. You don't mind if you... No, nah, looks like she's going to be stuck there for a while in uh, whatever mode you want to call it. Let's just listen to private, like, notes. Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes, anymore. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. Tell me how you really feel, Miss Sanders. I'm surprised she got up to listen to it. <laughs> Looked like yeah, ever since he saw the shambler, he went nuts and the fact that he gouged out his eyes at one point. I guess the gallery's down there. What's in here? Are we really just gonna know that cat's here by not doing anything about it? Or I mean, not even interact with her? Oh, there she is. Oh, maybe the gallery's in there. Well, let's uh, snoop around while she does whatever she's doing. Should we really be doing that while she's there? Like, just in case, you know, not really trustworthy fellow. She's already, trustworthy fellow, trustworthy lady. She already kicked us to the balls once, so. Desertion of an anatomical question. Or dissertation, sorry. Me speak what me speak good. Uh, it is the work of a student in book form in, in oh, it is the work of a student in book form. Although the observations are relevant, they lack the ex expertise of an experienced physician. However, the questions asked allow us to imagine new ways of exploring human anatomy. Hmm. Yeah, what's our percentage at now? Forty? Wow. Oh I didn't I didn't even know we had a couple of CP uh, available. Um, let's see. Yeah, I keep I keep low, not doing my strength. Uh, let's do psychology and spot hidden so we can get kind of a 50/50 chance of succeeding at those. After that, I might just focus on like 75% is pretty good odds. 50/50. Eh, that's a little bit not not as much as I'd like. So anyway, let's just keep around. Mm, I have a little fire and brimstone. Ooh, what's this? I could use one of those. Ah, oh, we've already run across sleeping pills multiple times in this game already. Gave it to that one dude. I wonder if the guy's still alive. I found these sleeping pills in the Sanders house. Were they prescribed to Francis Sanders or to Irene? Or both? Pills seem to be a thing even in the early 1900s, huh? Ooh, keys. A strange Amerindian pendant. Oh, right. It's Keys, right? I don't know why I said that. Yeah, it does look like a Native American tribe or something like that. Amerindian. indian I've never even heard that term before. An ancient amulet, probably Amerindian. indian I wonder what its purpose could be. Hmm. Ooh, a cult. That gave us a cult points, apparently. And we're up to 40, so about even either way. Alright. Let's see. Ooh. What's this? Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting. To finally give it away for nothing. Hmm. Dear Francis, I beg to you I beg you to give up all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. If our friendship has any meaning for you, please spare me the weight of guilt. I cannot be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the shambler, your friend Sarah Hawkins. Well, if she was so adamant about not giving to him, why would he say uh, Sanders say he cursed her? Maybe it's just in a sense of you know, because this happened, because of that, even though she didn't want to give it to him in the first place, and then eventually did, maybe she got, uh, not forced, but like coerced or whatever into it at some point. Another volume of the Reverend's Wife's Diary. Hmm. Diary of a Pastor's Wife, Volume 3. This volume spent some time on Reverend Wywook, 
Wickwood's community. His wife expresses her worries about the strange dreams that the Reverend's congregation are having since their arrival on the island. Some member of the community, her husband included, began to speak of their visions as a messenger sent by God. She is scared that they will suffer the same fate as the Lost Tribe. Hmm. Yeah, what's in here? Oh, we got a strength check. We're probably going to fail that. Although we failed stuff that I think would have had pretty good percentages, but oh well. Let's try it. Nope. Ooh, we did it. Huh. I'm surprised. Yoink. So we got a key to the gallery. Wait, didn't we already get a key from Irene? Huh. Don't okay. Hmm. I'm watching you and your stiletto heels. You don't wear stiletto heels, but I know you got stiletto there somewhere. Uh, well, I'm a curious sort. Why not? Well, that's not a good sign, especially when you get a trophy based off it. And it says it'll affect your destiny, which means we're poking our nose in businesses that shouldn't be out poked. But unfortunately, it's not a Call of Cthulhu game unless the investigators, like, investigate everything and slowly lose their sanity. The Malayas Bistarium, Volume 2. It is kind of an encyclopedia of monstrous and unknown creatures. I'm beginning to believe that they exist. Hmm. Anything on the other side? No book wrapped in human flesh? No Necronomicon Ex Mortis? Huh. I'm, su I'm surprised she doesn't say anything to me while I'm doing that. Let's see what our... Oh, that gave us five points of occultism. That's not a good sign. Alright, Miss Cat. Are we going to be quarterly here? Or are we going to be kosher here? Oops, wrong button. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? Hmm. Let's see. I've come to if we want to eloquence it. I've come to verify the paintings for buyer. Um, another painting by Sarah Hawkins. I'm not here to create problems for you. I've none of your business. Um. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, technically we're not here to deal with her bootlegging or whatever it is. We're just here to figure out what happened to Sarah Hawkins because of her, uh, because of our benefactor, and that's it. I'm not here to cause trouble, if that's what's worrying you. Worry me? Don't overestimate yourself. If the last beating wasn't enough for you, I can always give it another go. But as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. Hmm... And what are you doing? Oh, so you can do very well, or what are you doing here? And you. What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network, and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Well, the fact that uh, Fitzroy might have some ties into the cult. So it's either the cult or thieves and and uh, and, uh, and back back room dealers and all that other stuff. Not now, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. Sweetheart? I'm not sweet. I'm filled with, like, booze. <laughs> so we could either have gotten the key or investigate it or ask someone for the key. Hmm. Anyway, let's open it. Since we've got the key, we're gonna hurt our soul. Oh yeah, I guess before we go in here, let's double check our notes really quick and see what uh see what we got. Sandy, looks like yep, we've unlocked another by looking at the book. Man, we seem to I tried not to like activate all these mental trauma, yet I'm somehow finding all the mental trauma in the game. Oh boy, this is what I get for trying to find everything. The Malayus Bestiarium. Pierce read an ancient treatise, the Malayus Bestiarium. This bestiary makes an inventory of numerous creatures from the occult world or parallel dimensions. The very nature of its knowledge makes it an unholy book. By reading it, Pierce lost some of his sanity. Sanity, we are currently shaken, but not stirred. Uh, let's look at our... Oh, I thought... Uh, oh, no, it's under the occult section. Let's see... The Dimension Shambler, or Dimensional Shambler. The Dimensional Shambler comes from a dark and inhospitable dimension, where the rarity of food sources keeps it in a state of permanent starvation. This kind of reminds me of the creature from uh, Stranger Things. 
even though that's more based off an actual D and D made up character, which could be based off the Shambler. Who knows? Where the rarity, let's uh, see. Uh, the, this is why it is in a constant state of readiness to travel to other dimensions in order to feed on its inhabitants. Make sure you never weaken the veils of your dimension, otherwise you risk attracting this very dangerous creature. Should this happen, you just have to lay eyes upon it for its being to anchor itself in your dimension and to allow it to rip you open with its claws. Extract from the Malayas Bestiarian by Abigail G. Abigail G. Uh, the Mal Malayas... i probably pronouncing it wrong. It's probably Malayas or Malayas or something like that. Men will gather the knowledge through the lines dictated to me by the great old ones, but also in other volumes. The visions that assail me, whisper me names and silhouettes of mystical creatures. Soon the Malayas Monstrorum, Monstrum, or Monstrorum, whatever, repository of all anatomical, cosmic, and dimensional knowledge will be seen as the authoritative work. This book, unholy amongst the most cruelest cursed books, will one day be the final rampart between man and the predators that are waiting to devour him, hidden behind the veils of parallel dimensions. I can see why we're going crazy now. Uh, let's see, I don't want that. I don't need to read those, because I already checked those out. Let's see, at the Sanders. Cross-checking the information given by Fran Francis Sanders and his widow, it is possible to reconstruct the events that led to the instrument of Sanders. Internment of Sanders. Man, I'm too far away from the screen and the Either that or I need new glasses. Everything points to Sanders and Sarah Hawkins being close, linked at least by the interest the collector showed in the artist's work, but more probably by a certain friendship, attested to by the repeated refusals of Sarah Hawkins to sell the painting, called The Shambler. Against all expectations, she finally gave it away for free. The feelings still shown by Irene Sanders towards Sarah Hawkins are evidently derived from what she considers to be the artist's responsibility. Madness struck Sanders a short while after he gained possession possession of the painting. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> and inventory. We've got the key and that, which we heard Irene respond to. What does the case file say? Nothing new. Uh, let's see. Uh, nothing. Okay. Well, I mean, there is stuff, but... Hmm. There is a hiding spot here. That's a good sign. Mm, I'm not liking that. Fish head, dude. Weird. Modern art sure is strange. We got some tablets here. Ancient. Oh, the ritual dagger that we found in the. Uh, I don't think it's the one we found. Actually, what happened to that thing? I guess we lost it or something. Whoa. Something from Egypt. Maybe like a sphinx or something like that. Uh, yeah. Extremely busty sphinx from the looks of it. Hmm. Okay. I was expecting some major conversation, and then he just goes, hmm. It's like, all right. More dagger, masks, vases. It's just for me. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Hmm. How would you know that? I guess study, I don't know. Undead or a ghost. Oh, that might be a ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Well, Pierce might be, but I don't know. Oh, there it is over there, so we'll get to that eventually. All right, I keep forgetting I can run. Okay, that's how we got in. This is just taking a look at, at least most of the pictures are different, so they're not all redos. The public entrance to the gallery. Or at least, it doesn't look like most of them. Most of them might be from pictures from other areas of the game, but still. Mm, looks like a meeting or something like that. I keep looking around. I wonder if maybe those are... Well, never mind. I guess I won't say until we actually get to it. Hmm. Oh, more oil. Uh-oh. That's not good. Huh. Interesting. A lady with a... Well, it could be a dude, I guess, but... I assume that's a lady with a squid head. What's all these things with tentacles? Are they into hentai? <laughs> no. Uh, too early for that stuff. Yet, anyway. I have no eyes, and I must... Or, I have no mouth, and I must scream, except he has a mouth. Or he looks like the Witch King from Tolkien, the movie version. Hmm. Oh, he just keeps saying, hmm. Faces, more... Sphinxes, or something similar to that. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Probably with, I have an idea, but... Man, 
mean, there's a lot of uh, horrific looking things. Modern days, we would uh, we wouldn't even have that stuff because we can't be we can't be challenged. We have to be uh, scared. A lion with tentacles, of course. It ain't a Cthulhu game. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. It, it ain't Cthulhu unless everything has tentacles attached to it. Or a Japanese hentai, one of the two. Hmm. Lady with, like, demon wings or something like that. Looks like Beethoven or something like that. Probably not. It's probably some other. And we'll check that here in a second. Hmm. Oh, we'll get to it, folks. We'll get to it. You know something's gonna go down. A skeleton who wants to sing! Yes, he does. He looks fabulous! What's that? But my eyes must be bad. I kinda can't tell. Then again, my eyes being bad is not a, a new thing. It has been a while since I've. Ha ha! Actually, maybe I should not stare at that for too long, otherwise the FBI will come crash. Oh, it's a guy. Okay, strangling like a bird or something like that. But anyway, otherwise the uh, FBI will be knocking down my door if I stare for too long. Wee. Oui. Go. Move along, people. Nothing to see here. It's like two bears fighting each other. Bear on bear action, man. Sometimes you have to pay per view that stuff. Huh. What's this? Ah, more, more oil. There it is, the shambler. The the thing that has affected the man who was killed by whatever it was, a whole person's life, and even Sarah Hawkins has gone, uh, held back on it for such a long time. But what will the shambler show us? Will it just be a picture of art that we would deem to not wor deem be worthy of our eyes? Or is there so much more to it? Find out next time in the next episode of Call of Cthulhu. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.